Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, everyone. Ah. Okay, so we won't do that again <laughs> until I have proper camera setups. So sorry. I thought I would give that a try and it, I don't know what happened. Like I said, I tested it, but I was on my own page and it worked. So welcome back, folks. I'm really sorry that I messed that up, but we won't do that again. <laughs> Oh, hi, Sylvia, Anja, Jose. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I will go ahead and get started and hopefully everybody's going to get back on here. I see that the eyeballs are growing. So I just thought I'd quickly show you. I'm sure you've seen all the other videos, but I got finally got my new package with my little ATC button and my little ATC pages. So this is how they come in the package. And I've already taken this whole pack and put it in here, but it's empty. So I need to make some cards to fill it up. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna work on today. Hi, Angelica, Cora. Oh, I have to move this. I need to put something dark here so that I can actually see everyone's comments. So I'm gonna try something. Let's see if that is big enough to work and then I can actually read your comments. There's Teresa, Robin, hey, Cindy. Okay, so I've got some little stacks of bins here. I've got a bunch of things prepared um, and we're gonna give a start with this one because I'm gonna do another wax seal for these ATC. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sets of four. So I only have, I have three prepared, but I'm gonna do sets of four. So I'm gonna start with this one because it um, needs a little bit of time to get my pancake maker warmed up but you might see in the corner of my dust there not only do I have my pancake maker I've also got whoops my wax melt oven so I am going to give both a try and see which one is faster so see if my lighter is charged and I can get that candle lit so last time when I just used the pancake maker, I had a little bit of a struggle with a couple of things. Um, it did end up working, but I just thought that I would try both and see which one works better. Hi, Karen. Hi, Candice. I see a lot of you have already liked, commented, and shared. Don't forget to do that for a chance to win a gift certificate. I'm not sure where to put this. We'll put it over here for now. Okay. So. Here they are, so I've cut all of my papers and somewhere on one of these cards, I think it's written down what I did here. Huh, maybe not, that was on another one. Anyway, so I have the this one of David's paper packs. Oh, which of course I can't think of which one it is right now. It might be, it might be rusty weathered. Now that I've cut it out, I don't remember. Um, and I'm going to distress all of this stuff. So I've got my lighter brown. And I'm going to use that just to give it a little bit of an antique age look. So I'm going to start with this. I'm not going to attach them, I don't think, to the bases right away. So I'll think about that, but I think I'm just going to put them on these bases. So these, of course, all of these bases are cut with the art artist trading card set, the specials. So I've got my base layer and then my matte layer with the stitching on it. And then, oops, I've cut out these triangles. So the triangles are with the same set. Just grab it so I can show you. So I've actually used this one for a lot of the stuff that I've cut out today. Um, so I've got the card, the matte layer, and all of the triangles. So that's what I've used so far on here. Um, these little stamps that I have were just in my stash. They're little sticker things. I don't know. <laughs> I went through, I have this little bin with a whole bunch of ephemera. So I just went through and pulled out some different things that I thought I could play around with. Get these all inked up. And the other. So um, part of the reason that I wanted to do the artist trading car cards today was because I am hoping that I can organize a swap. 
So at this point, I'm not too sure of details, um, but my thinking was I would try and do it since I'm in Canada for a bunch of the Canadians um, because it would be much easier for shipping. Because like I said, I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean hexagon, Sylvia, thank you. Did I say triangles? A little bit flustered from that uh, whole beginning part there <laughs> of <a> dirty start. <laughs> so yes, these are definitely not triangles. So anyway, so that's my thinking is I will um, try and organize that. Um, so once I've got things sorted out a little bit, um, I'll post something next week for people to sign up. And, uh, and then we can organize that. Like I said, I'm not too sure exactly how it's going to work, just mainly because of postage. So I have to kind of figure out what the postage is going to be. Because I've never um, organized something like that before. But I would love to swap. Um, and I'm sure that there's lots of others out there that would love to do the same. Oh, I could have done these stamps at the same time. I think everything's warmed up, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those uh, wax beads in there so that they can get started. So, last time when I did it, I did find that the colors melted differently. So this time I'm gonna put these white ones in first. I think those are the ones that take a bit longer. So we'll see what happens. I just don't want to forget about them. So hopefully I won't get distracted by inking everything. Trying to keep an eye on the comments there. It definitely helps having that little piece of black there because now the words stand out a bit. Okay, so might help me gauge. Let's see. Yeah, everything's still solid there. I found, I did a, was testing some of the beads just to see um, if they melted at different speeds. So I was kind of playing around with them and it's almost like they have a, um, a film on the outside. I can see that one starting to melt now, the white one. There we go. Still have to ink those uh, card bases. Okay, we're doing okay. One more of those. Oh, these ones are melting good. Okay, I'm gonna put my gold in there. I'm just doing one gold, that's right. Because this is the smaller, one, I've got a little compass stamp there. It's smaller, so I don't think I need more than three. We'll see. I could be wrong. Get my little picky thing out. How's that going? Oh yeah, see, those are going now. So they're kind of like, hmm, about the same. And then I need, I have to grab this. I need something to pour the wax out on from that one. So maybe I should have put it in sooner. But see, that one's like starting to melt already. But I think those were the ones that I found had a bit of a, a film on them. When I was doing them in here, because what happened was I was stamping and the image wasn't um, really stamping into it very clearly. So it stamped down flat, but you couldn't really see the details. So don't worry, I'm not going to do this with all of my cards today, but maybe half of them. <laughs> I could have done some of this ahead of time, but I knew with this one especially that I needed some time while things melted. Looks like my oven one needs a stir. So let's see what happens. Woo! Now it's bubbling. Not really too sure that that's going to be a good thing. So I probably should have put that in sooner. Try that one in 
again. See, it's like it's got this film on it. How's that one doing? Maybe these are not going to work as good as I had hoped. <laughs> Oops, close that again. Because now it almost looks like those um, white ones are uh, turning brown. Here, we'll take that off. And see, there, okay. I'm going to try that one. See how that works. It's going to be bubbly. Got some kind of cool marbling in it. Is that going to be enough? Hopefully. It doesn't look very big. Let's just try and get a little bit more in there. <laughs> okay. Let's give it a try. Okay. This one. And I need to get that out of there. Let's put this wax in here. Oops. Oop, there we go. Put that down. So that one's, they're both going to look very different. See, it works a lot better on that because the wax doesn't come out of there. So let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in there at the same time. And I need one more of these circles. And we'll put those in there too. Oh, they're too far apart. Get back there. Oh, and there's a lovely hair in there. Okay, so let's see. What do you think? Yeah, it's different. We'll see what it looks like on there once it's, the cards are ready. That one could definitely use another bead. Okay, finish this up. Sorry, I was uh, not seeing comments while I was doing that. I know when I've been on video before, I was having issues with my comments, like just not coming up at all. It was like it was frozen. Okay. Huh. Those beads. Oh, I never thought about putting my tablet in portrait. It's, um, Got to stand on it so it doesn't really sit that way very well, though. Okay. That one's okay. This one, what was in there already, is really bubbly. But I think it'll be okay. Ooh, what's up? Okay, so I'm going to start to decorate some of these. Just grab my tape here, my adhesive. So I think what I'm going to do is about there. And then once I have these um, done, I will just trim off the pieces that stick out past the base. Go like that, make sure it's nice and straight. Yeah, so lots of people had used the pancake maker for the shrink plastic, which I have done as well, but I haven't done much with that. Ooh, that's really going. Give that another second. Okay, I think I'm gonna be good with that. Ooh, gotta hurry up, get that poured out. Lots of bubbles, so hopefully they will 
kind of go away or I can poke them out or they will flatten out when I do this. That one came out a bit nicer. Ooh. Not a point on there anymore. But I've done this before. It's kind of too late to pop them. So I'll just leave them. Let's see, that one's looking a bit better. But see what I mean about like this kind of skin on it. I think I need to blow that out now. Sorry. Okay. Let's pull this one off. Because I can always put it back on if I need to. I think I'm going to just push that in a bit. It's very white on the outside. That's still clumping there. So I'm just going to let that one sit for another second or two. That wasn't hard yet. Okay, just put it back on there for another second or two and see if I can get that to look better. There we go. I am going to put this one using good scissors. I'm going to put this one back. So it will lose its marbling a lot by doing this. Whoops. But it will work. Even if it's not the same marble color, it will still be okay. Okay, so... I can pull that one out. That one looks okay. There we go. I'm going to unplug this, I think. Hopefully I have enough wax in that other one. Maybe I'll throw a white in there. I don't have a white. There wasn't very many of those. to throw that in there just to give it a little bit more oh I was going to show you something I tried this hang on <laughs> let's see I'm going to show you something okay oh it's not melting because I turned it off I did this look at that so let's see what happens with that So pretty warm. There we go. Look at the difference in color. So that one definitely cooked too long. Turned the color, but oh well. Really is okay because it will still match. I'm just gonna throw this back on here just in case. Oh yeah, see? So my paint was coming off there. Okay. I need this still. I don't need this. Get that out of the way. There we go. Get that out of the way. Don't have a lot of room here. Okay, so now let's finish up this. So these are, like I said, these are little stickers. Sorry, that what was that? Can you hold up to camera when you have time? I'm assuming you want me to hold up the seals, which I can definitely do that. Oops. I'm going to put that like that. What is this doing? Oops, wrong one. Let's give it a little stir there. I don't want to lose my, probably will lose my marbling again. <laughs> okay, so here are the three seals I've got so far. Does that work? Hopefully that worked okay. Um, and then I will remember to grab my metallic markers. Just figure out which one I might want. I'm thinking 
something like this. Okay. So I've got those. And then I just, you can go over and I'll show you a trick. This is what I did. So that's very close in color to that. We'll give it a try. Whoops. It's a little bit. So just kind of color over top and it will pick up the raised bits. So you just want to be careful. These are brush tips. They're not maybe necessarily the best for this. And then the other thing that people do, and because this one is quite white or yellow, no, nope, that's not going to work. Because it's wax, they don't all stick that great. I'll leave it like that. But it seems to stick fine to this part. I'm trying to remember what I did last time. I think, oh, I know what I did. I used my alcohol markers. Because see how that's not really sticking? It's just kind of bubbling off. These are, yes, Spectrum Noir markers. There, yeah, that's actually staying. Yeah, I'll show you that again. Here, I'm gonna put it on here. So that seemed to work okay. Oh, I should probably take that out before it burns. <laughs> Ooh, looks like it might be a bit lumpy still. Them over there still okay it's actually got some nice marbling that hopefully is gonna show <laughs> come on okay here we go Let's see if it's enough this time it looks like it there okay and I just want to leave that to dry so I gotta unplug that we'll set that there for now and I'm going to get this pancake maker out of the way so I have a bit more space. See if I can do it without burning myself. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that one. And we've got this one. I wonder if I should try a different color just to see. I'm trying to remember which ones I used before because I think I must have used... Uh, black color or something what would happen if i did this here i'll show you okay. if i do this what do you think do you think that's a good idea oh is it dry yeah if i give it enough time i think it will but i'll i'll give it a second before i check five which one did i do it on the back this one right See, that won't come off. Yeah, it's not coming off. Here, put it on here, see. No, nope, it doesn't come off. Okay, we're gonna do this one differently. We're gonna use this. So these are easier to do because they have the, the straight end. So it makes it easier to run that across. See, it's easier to pick up. But I think I still had a bit of lumps in here because it's still not the clearest um, image, the raised part. I feel like there's parts that are missing. That's kind of fun. It's very bright. Oh, can't pick it up. There, look at that. What do you think about that one? Got a little bit there. See? Oh. Won't even come off now. Oh, there, I got it. So we'll let that one dry. And then let's see how we're doing here. There we go. So I think that one I'm going to use this too, because I think that, oh, that one came out really nice. It's much, um, clearer so maybe some of them even though they were bubbling I just needed to leave them a little bit longer I feel like that one's got really 
much more detail on the raised parts. Okay, get these out of the way. I'll show you that one. Yeah, see that? Went on quite nicely, actually. I didn't have to go over it to cover it. Is that, is it clear enough? <laughs> there, that's really close. Is that good? <laughs> okay. So let's get some of these stuck down. Now, last time, my little adhesive dots weren't working very well, but I have some other ones. Sorry about that. I'm gonna see if these will work any better. Okay. I don't wanna attach that one <laughs> until it dries a little bit. Make sure you put the north at the top is something to remember when you're using um, a compass image. Same with a clock. Make sure you put the 12 at the top where it's supposed to be. Okay, so there's my north. So that one is just gonna go right there. I'm just gonna turn that over, give it a good push on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly attach more of these and then I might not bother doing all four of the next ones. I'll try and get to um, do at least one of them. I'll go up like that. I need this size. The one's hiding under there. And I want that out. One get straight. When I get at least all of this set done, I should have enough time to at least get one of the next one done. And if I don't actually have time to finish the last one, I'll save that and do it next week on a live. But this is gonna go a lot faster now. I'm gonna put that one. I think we'll put it there. And which one? This one's quite dark, so I'm going to use this lighter one, I think. Yeah, we'll save that for one of those. These ones seem to be working a little bit better. Maybe that one's still not quite dry. I don't know where I got that from. Okay, again, I need to find a north, except it's not really showing. See, it's not... It didn't get all of the details on that one, but that's okay. It's more of a distressed look. Okay, Give it a good push. And then I wanna make sure, see me assembling them all to the bases too. And how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this one um, opposite. I don't know, we're gonna try it up here this time. Kind of play around with them. And then when we do a swap, these will definitely be part of the swap. Oops. Making a lot of racket. Okay. Where do we want this one to be? Right there. Did I get that straight? I think so. And another one of these. These are just really thin. I, um, I'm sure I picked them up online probably. I think we'll try there. And then, yep, we'll do this one here. Oh, these are oh, very sticky. Which is good. That's why they're sticking. My north is right there. And there, and then this last one. Okay, did I lose comments again? Love your wax seals and coloring. 
image. Really, yeah, it really does help when you uh, highlight that image with something. It's definitely um, the way to make them really stand out. What about there? Let's do that. And you can do all kinds of different colors. It's just whatever coordinates. Like I said, I think the last ones I, I did like in black. I can't remember now, but those alcohol markers do seem to work a little bit better. I'm going to move that up there, more even. That one, one more stamp. For my sales, Belinda's saying, I've used Tim Holtz Distress Collage Mediums in a little bottle to glue things like this. Oh yes, I never thought about that. That one looks very crooked. <laughs> Try that again. Oh, maybe I cut it crooked. The, like, I think I did. Let's try this. I think my lines on the die cut aren't straight, so. I don't know if I like that. I think I feel like this needs to be at the top. There. Okay. Oops. Very sticky, so they're a little bit hard to get off of there. Oh, now I have to fix those. And there's my north. So now I'm going to attach them all onto my bases. And then I'm going to trim them off, I think, because I think I want them to overhang that white piece. So let's just look and see. Yes. Yes, I want them to hang over. There we go. So now I can just cut them off what overhangs and then you can see that I've already pre-stamped the back so that's using the stamp from the um, the ATC set which I have somewhere around here I was gonna show you I don't know where I put it here it is <laughs> sorry right from this set so I use some other um, stamps from this one as well and some of the other cards so that's from the um uh what is it artist trading card special somebody's gonna have to confirm that one thanks margaret okay so i think i will definitely just do one of the next set you don't need to see me do them all when I finish them all, I will definitely post them. These ones are probably the most different. The other ones will be more, um, more alike in the sets. These are more unique, each one. Okay. So I just went through my papers when I was getting ready for these and I just kind of found some different papers that I wanted to use and then I matched up other things that would go with them. <laughs> so we always forget to stamp the back. I know, right? So now that I actually have the stamp, I need to remember. I think there's still a few that I need to go back. Oh, look, I forgot to check and make sure it wasn't upside down. So let's try that again. <laughs> At least I haven't cut it yet. <laughs> okay, do that one over again. And then I'll check the others and hopefully I didn't put any of the other ones upside down. There we go. No, nope, that one's right. And that one's upside down. I thought about that when I was pre-stamping them and I thought I have to make sure I don't put them upside down. But I don't know, wherever I got this cardstock, it's, um, 
it's uh, got like a very smooth finish, so that made that a little bit easier to do. Okay, there we go. Now they're right. Oh, this one's going to be a bit of a challenge. Get that right. There we go. Oh, and I have to just um, ink the edges too where I've cut them. So I'll do that real quick. Just got to touch it up where I've cut them. There. Oh, I didn't finish this one. Okay, so there, whoops, <laughs> there, there's my first set of four. So those are going to go in my journal, but for now I'm just going to set them aside here and I'm going to work on this. Okay, so like I said, I just, just grabbed a bunch of stuff and played around with it after I had these papers cut. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. So I'll just set these ones up here. And then I've got the little bugs. So those I those are from the our journal special as well. This one. Now this one I did write down. Yep. Okay. So these are the rusty weathered papers. The leaf is from uh, Sidekick 12. So that's retired. Um, but if you have that in your stash, or you can just use any little leaf die cut. Um, the negative is from Planner Essentials. It's the photo film slides. So that, I really like that one. And it's got the matching stamps with it. That's the one with the little girl. I'm using her on the next one. And then what else have I got here? And then, then I've got these papers. These were one of the tags in one of the reminiscence books, which... I don't remember which one and I didn't write it down. So this one, I am going to do a quick ink on this one too before I put it together. What's my time like? I still got time, so I'm fine. And then we got more wax seals. Only have a couple and only gold and silver wax. Yes, I one of those things that you start buying it and then you just can't stop so I have a bit of a collection now it's like these little ephemera bits that I have too I have some of those like just a stash of them and then I always forget to use them okay I want to do this one as well Similar money value in Esther's little girl stamp. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's just a little tag, easy to um, replicate, something like that, if you can't find it. Okay, so what else? I'm going to do this one. Might trim that one up a bit we'll see okay so I'm going to I'm not going to put this one on because I have my little um this is just the same as a tiny attacher it just happens to be the one that I have um so if you need something like that you can just grab a tiny attacher Tim Holtz I think okay so see these are these little stickers I had in my stash too so these are stickers um but I think I'm going to do this one first. So I took a piece of, um, whoops, acrylic, whatever. What is this piece of film? And the one that I have has the backing on it. So I just pulled that back because I didn't want to forget about that. Get that off of me. And then I'm going to put this. Now I was thinking I was going to stamp. That's why I have this. So I think I'm still going to do that and we'll see what it looks like whether I do in fact go ahead. Acetate, oh my goodness. Brain was not functioning there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, I need my scrap paper. Okay, so this is stays on, so it should work. 
I don't use it very often. I definitely don't use it on acetate very often. So I just want to get an image on here. You're not going to see the whole thing anyway. Oh, I feel like it moved. Let's see. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. So I think that worked. Can you, can you see it? Here. There we go. So this stamp is also from the um, original specials. Oh, wait, which one is this? This is the ATC coin, I think. I don't want to mix up. Yes, this is the ATC coin one. So that's it there. And it has a matching die too, but I'm not going to cut it out, of course. Okay, so just give that a quick clean. That's the one thing I don't like about the stays on is I really don't like it when my stamps aren't clean really doesn't matter but <laughs> okay there we go just have a little bit of OCD around stuff like that okay let's cover this up before I make a mess okay get that out of the way okay so now I have that just have to make sure it dries it's a little bit thick in that one spot okay I think it's good okay so now it's to decide if I want to keep it like that or not because after I decided to do this I thought oh it would look cool with a little piece of dictionary paper and of course then you can't see the stamp so I'm probably not going to do that now I like the stamp what do you guys think do you like the stamp or do you like the paper behind it better I think both are kind of cool I'm thinking I like the, um, the acetate though Now, I'm going to have to put something, oh, do I, kind of, oh, I'm going to have to decide what I think. My plan is just to go like this. All these other things are going to tuck in behind here. That's just going to go like down here. Sorry, it's hard to see stamp without paper. I think I like the idea of the acetate. So I'm probably going to put a little bit of sorry have to ship things a little bit of paper behind that because then it will stand out that's not working right because if I do that then you can see it I think that will I feel like it should be a different color though what are you guys saying here acetate stamp without the paper Yes, I do kind of like it just like that, though. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stick. This is a sticker with junk all over it now because I was messing around on here with the uh, cutting. This can, I think these are stickers. Hmm. Maybe they're not done it before where I've stuck something down with adhesive and then found out later it was a sticker. <laughs> I really thought these were stickers. Okay, they're not coming off, so I'm just going to stick it down. So these are just, yeah, acetate things I got online. Go like that. Okay, I am going to use my stapler to attach this so I don't have to worry about what kind of adhesive I need. So I'm gonna go over here. I just gotta get it lined up though, so that, there, there. That one might not catch completely. There. So I'm gonna do that instead of actually trying to find adhesive. And then this one I think can overhang as well. So we'll just put some, oh, where we go? Here, we'll put some art glitter glue on that one. <laughs> yes, Margaret, just like Karen. It's a great little tool to use for acetate. <laughs> And yes, I did learn that from Karen. Oh, okay. So let's stick this. Oh, I was going to hang it over. Right about there. Oh, look. Glue's leaking. Whoops. Okay. 
Okay, and then I've got this is going to go there. But do I want to attach it? Is the question. I think I do. Okay, so we're going to put that there. And then this little guy did not distress. I was debating if I wanted to do something with these, if I should do something with them, like um, emboss them or something. I don't think so. So I'm gonna, will my stapler reach there? Look at that, I'm gonna just staple him on there. So just trying to get that right in the middle. Ooh, that actually worked, look at that. Can't believe I managed to line that up. And then this guy is definitely gonna get stapled on here. Except I ran out. <laughs> I guess I should have checked that. I really don't use this very often. I always forget about it. Now I have to find my staples. I think are right here. Oh my goodness, they're not. Okay, well let's pretend that I had a staple in that. I'll put some adhesive on it and then I'll staple it later. I have staples somewhere. <laughs> I thought I knew where they were. Oh well. <laughs> there. Okay, so let's imagine there's a staple there and I'm probably gonna put a staple there as well. And now we can attach that onto the base. My ink the base. Let's see, where are we? A little bit more over. There, give that some good Good push. And there I've got uh, my stamp on the back of that one too. Um, yeah, I could attach it with an eyelet for sure. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I haven't done that yet. I've seen that in the group. That might be kind of cool, but we'll see. But anyway, so that's that one is done. So I will work on the rest of those. But how much time have I got? see I've still got time so I'm gonna work on the next one sorry I just needed a drink there okay so here's my next one let's put away the pieces that I don't need okay so this one this time I stamped and die cut it because I'm using a black face this time and you're not going to be able to see well you'd have to emboss it if you wanted to be able to see it on there and I didn't want to emboss it oops okay so that can just sit up there here's what I've got for this one so this was the leftover piece when I cut out this so I figured I'll just use this on one and I'll use this on the other I am not doing any ink distressing this time, so we can put that out of the way. Okay, thank you ladies. Okay, and gentlemen, um, which way? I think we're gonna go this way. And I'm going to go ahead and attach this one down, I think. Because of course, the reason I didn't do the other one down for sure at first was because I knew I was going to use the stapler. So that way my staples were not showing right through the back, right? Now, by doing this, if I did have something, this would cover up some of it if it happened to be underneath. Ooh, doesn't that match nicely? I just happened to find this color card stock in my stash. And then this is just some weird paper I got online too. Well, it's not really paper, but they call it paper. Um, so that's just going to go there. And then these go together. Oh, this one. I think, yeah, I want to put that underneath. I want to put that on top. Oops. So we're going to go kind of like that. Okay, so I can stick this one down. And I just left them long so that I can cut them. 
the size of my base. There. That looks nice and straight. Oh, hang on. What is going on with that? Okay, there we go. Yes. Yes. I don't often, Sylvia, use the, the leftovers, um, depending on what it is, but I try and remember to keep that. I actually keep some in a little bin nearby. Well, I probably should have thought about the placement of that a little bit better. <laughs> but that's okay. I'll just add a little bit of this. And it's just squeezing out. I must have moved it or something. There. Get the air out of there. I don't think I need to worry about the other ones because they're going to be covered up. And then, let's see, is there a difference if I do... I'll just do that. Okay, I'm going to, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to go like this. Just get some of that down there to hold it while I put the other pieces together. Yeah, I like that better because then you can see a little bit more of that white. I always feel like this needs to be distressed though, this, when you got paper like this, because it's like old script and it's kind of tea stain color I really don't think I want to do the other ones although maybe I will even though I said I wasn't gonna I'm gonna do this one too <laughs> just adds just a little bit of dimension See, I saved the easier one for last Maybe I have to think of a way to make it more complicated. <laughs> okay. And then that one can go. Do I want that to hang off? I do. I love it when they hang off. And this one on top. Make sure I get that nicely centered straight make it straight yes um yeah the inking definitely adds to it i just was thinking i wouldn't because of it being black that i would not and the like the black and the white but i actually like it with just those pieces and then i stamped the little girl um embossed her with white embossing cut her out with the die so she's gonna go right there So this should be the right adhesive. Let's tuck it in where it's a lot overlapped. Okay. So, you know what? I think I'm going to put her right at the bottom like that. There she is. There. And it might need a word. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it needs a word on it? Um, <laughs> don't want to lose that little piece of wax. Okay. And then this is going to go on the back, so I might as well just ink the edge of this. Looks like a negative that way. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, really didn't want to color it, <laughs> so I was just trying to come up with a way that I wouldn't have to color it. I... I sometimes color in stamps but it's not really something that I find really really fun oh that's a good idea Margaret I don't know if I do have something that says special delivery um, but I can definitely look I was just thinking I have some I know I had done some of the the sentiment stamps um, but I don't think they're the right color. See, I have like that, but that's totally the wrong color. Oh, yes. Um, who was that? Said that Buffy about this paper. Yeah, it was just, I thought it was just interesting looking. 
so I grabbed it and uh, it's like you would find it I think in an art shop um, I got it online but yeah it's pretty cool it would be neat to have a die like that yeah she definitely needs something or like um, maybe make her into a tag why don't we look at what that would look like I just need to find my crocodile I've moved things hang on here it is so let's do that just get this out of the way my time I've got five minutes so I should be able to just quickly do this and I have some black I think black oh do I have I got, I got this at a like a scrapbooking garage sale it's like the best deal ever came with all of these brads I'm just trying to see now because these ones are like sparkly at that not that cool but they're not really the right color I don't think because none of them are white either they're all kind of weird colors okay never mind I'm just gonna go with the black oh I already got one up okay I need this side where do we want it oops there oh I like that I like that make sure I have my right settings I think so I think so okay here we go did I do it right yeah it looks oh I even forgot about that that looks okay okay so I might still look for a word to put um, on that one um, but like I said I'm gonna do all of the rest of the cards in the set and then you'll see them uh, I'll post them all when I'm done but in the meantime where did I put my little book <laughs> I have it here it is oh here it is okay so I'm going to put them in here so here they are so here are these ones I will have to still write on the back Course. Sorry, it's slippery. They are slippery. Oh, I probably should have put them in together. Oh, that's okay. That wasn't too hard. And then, how many comes in this? It's like it's 12. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's 12 cards in each packet so that's a ton of ATCs and then you can just take this with you if you're going to trade if you're going somewhere so there so the wax seal is not too bulky and it doesn't stick I wasn't sure if it would maybe like stick cool I like that now I thought maybe I should pull them out. I'll just show you close up how they look. So there's our little girl. I should probably find some twine or some ribbon to put in there. And there's the slide. Can you see that the stamp? It looks kind of cool because that it's more like um um like a slide, right? Um, yeah. That one. Really, the rusty paper looks really good there. This was, did I even tell you? I don't know if I did. This piece that I cut all of these cards out of is all the same piece of paper. So which way did it go? So if you, I think it went this way. So it was all cut out of the same piece of paper. So I don't know if you noticed that, but that's pretty cool, eh? It goes right from blue, and then the greens, and then the rusty oranges. So yeah, so there they all are. Is that good? Gotta make sure I find the right spot in my, for the camera. Okay, everybody. 
I'm all done. So I will definitely post those um, once I complete the rest of them. And uh, keep an eye out for a post from me next week for all of those in Canada. And we'll see if we can set up a card swap. Thanks for joining me. Everybody have a wonderful day. And I have to find my off button. Bye-bye.